Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in for Aries. This is going to be for the first half of your March from the 1st to the 15th. You can apply this to any of your placements. So we're just going to take a look and see uh, what's surrounding you guys, your overall energies, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the first half of the month. And then we'll see what the possible outcome advice are, what else you guys need to know, look out for, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Uh, let's see, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aries people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. All right, Aries, Aries, over energies for Aries. What's surrounding Aries? What does Aries need to know? What can Aries expect for the first half of their March from the 1st to 15th? Like I said, this could be in any of your placements because this reading can be about anything. We have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Sun. So um, Aries, it seems like emotionally, you know, you're doing really well. You're happy, you know. Um, you know, I, I just feel like you're really connected with your intuition, your emotions here, okay? Uh, it just seems like you're doing really well. Uh, we have the Four of Cups in the reverse here and the Moon. You know, I do feel like at some point here, you were incredibly depressed and sad. You know, I feel like you were doing some shadow work here. And I feel like you are finally coming out of that shadow work or you're, you're coming out of that dark abyss here, you know, uh, abyss, abyss. The Moon Cancer Pisces. We have the Knight of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And then we have the Three of Wands here. Seems like, you know, there is a cycle that's closing out here. It seems like you're looking forward towards the future. You're excited about it. You know, I feel like you freed yourself from your fears or you freed yourself from your depression, your sadness here. Okay, so I do feel like with the World card and the Eight of Wands, there is some major flow movement that's happening for you. Uh, you know, if you feel like you felt stuck here for a while here, things are moving forward. Uh, you know, with Eight of Wands here and the Three of Wands, you know, some of you guys could be traveling here uh, 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 for the first half of your month or in March in general. Four of Cups in the reverse. We have the Ace of Swords, how many of the Moon? And the Six of Wands here. You're definitely overcoming some major fears here. You're definitely overcoming this dark side, this shadow work that you've been doing here. I think I'm going to title this video that, Stepping Out of the Abyss. Okay, Six of Wands. Yeah, it seems, it seems like you're overcoming something, you're achieving something here for yourself. All right, tell me about the Knight of Wands here. Like I said, you've, I feel like you've come, uh, you, you know, you come out of a period of darkness here, and I feel like you're really optimistic and happy of what to look forward to or what you're looking forward towards in the future here. I do feel like there's going to be a lot of movement here. Okay, I do feel like there's going to be a lot of movement. I feel like some of you guys might even completely drop your jobs or take this like really bold risk in doing like, you know, uh, kind of like, um, kind of like a digital nomad sort of work, you know, traveling around, you know, uh, and, and working and, and perhaps making some sort of di digital content. All right, Six of Swords, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Seems like you've had some major breakthroughs here. Yeah, for yourself. What else do we have here for Aries? Outcome and advice. What else does Aries need to know, look out for, and work on here for the first half of their March from the 1st to 15th? Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Wands in the reverse here. You know, I, I do feel like, you know, Aries, I feel like you've taken some time out to really focus on healing your traumas here. And I do feel like, yeah, you're, you're definitely finding happiness here. I feel like some of you guys might even find new love. You guys might even find a soulmate here with the Queen of Cups here and the Nine of Cups. This is going to be an incredibly emotional connection. Your wish fulfillment is about to come in. Yeah, we have the Queen to Queen, uh, Kings of Queen of Cups. This is a true pair. You might meet this person through traveling. We have the Knight of Swords here and the Four of Pentacles. 
Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Four of Pentacles here. This could be, you know, you overcoming some financial difficulties and challenges here too. Yeah, or that this is going to be a goal of yours. Yeah, uh, Seven of Wands here and Nine of Pentacles. What we have here is I feel like you're trying to overcome some sort of financial struggle that you've been through here. I feel like you've been through the ringer here probably in the last few years and they feel like you're starting to come out of it here, Leo. Not Leo, um, Aries. Yeah, the stress and anxiety that you're going through or that you went through here, it's starting to subside here, Aries, okay? So we have the King of Pentacles here and the Nine of Wands in the reverse. You definitely overcame some major trauma, some dark times here. Now that trauma could be physical too. Maybe there was some sort of physical injury here uh, regarding uh, an, an accident. Uh, King of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Swords. Tell me about the Nine of Wands in the reverse, in the Four of Wands here. Someone here sustained a massive back injury here, I feel. Now, Aries, if this is not you, this could be someone that'll let you know. Maybe this is a friend here. This is a friend, maybe a brother or a sister or something like that. But whoever this is, this is the individual that's healing from that trauma here because I do feel like this is an individual, their health is starting to get better here. This could also be an indication that, you know, you're just stable and happy with where you're at in life right now. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups, we have the Two of Swords here and the Ace of Wands. There is a passionate new beginning here, okay? Here's the thing. You know, with the Ace of Swords here, I feel like you're not going to see it in the beginning here, but I feel like over time, it that connection is it, going to be a bit of a slow burn. It, it, it will it will materialize. It will materialize here. The, tell me about the Nine of Cups. We have the Hierophant here, Taurus energy. There is some sort of soul. There's there's some sort of spiritual connection between you and this individual here, Aries. This person that you're meeting here. Yeah, I, I, I feel like you and this person are in alignment with each other regarding the path that you guys are on right now. I, yeah, I feel like you could meet this person through traveling. For some reason, I don't know why I'm getting this, but I feel like you might meet this person somewhere in Europe, in like Rome or something like that, or in Spain or in France. Maybe you guys are planning on going on a trip to those countries. Okay, I'm getting Switzerland here too. So Aries, there's a lot going on here. Yeah, I think I'm going to title this video that. Stepping out of the abyss. It seems like, you know, things are turning around for you. This tough cycle that you've been going through here is coming to an end because I do feel like some of you guys have been struggling. And, and you know, if it's not you that's struggling, maybe you know someone that's struggling here, okay? Or w was struggling, all right? So Aries, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one, all right? Thanks guys, bye.